Alright, right, this your boy Life of Darius, aka Dre the Martian, and we are back. We're back today with I mean, do I even need to say it, man? Y'all see it down there in bright bold letters. It's time. After much conjecture, you know what I'm saying? Much disrespect put on the Beach Boys name. We're here. We got pet sounds. Let's get to it, y'all. All right, before we get into the video, I do just want to make it very clear. I'm having a pretty bad day, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm having a pretty... Uh, I've had better days in the past couple of weeks, right? And, and if you've watched my previous video, y'all know what's going on. And, and that's just how I be sometimes. Not every day is going to feel like a step forward. But no matter what, we're going to keep stepping. All right, I think that's the thing we all love about music, man. Music can be used as medicine. I need a little bit of medicine today, y'all. And it's being prescribed today by... The Beach Boys. Let's 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 just get to it, man. Let's get to it. Now, as customary, before we start with a new group, a new band, y'all know I gotta uh, just do my research on who the members is and what each member kind of does. At least have an idea, right? I don't just want to be here listening to the music like, oh, that's nice, that's cool. I wanna be able to get credit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Hype up. Who needs to be hyped up on each part, right? So it was a little confusing with this band. I'm not gonna lie. Right, with the Beatles and Led Zeppelin, it's, it's pretty straightforward, the members of those bands. This, the, the Beach Boys, I think, have had a couple of iterations, right? But I think I have narrowed down the, the 1966 iteration, right? So the lead singer and the head honcho in the band, I think that's uh, Big Brian Wilson, right? Uh, I thought this was a family band at first. I saw, like, hella Wilsons everywhere. I was like, oh, my goodness, man, like, the Beach Boys, and it's a family band. But it's not a family band. It's just a lot of, a lot of members in there, some cousins, things like that. So we got Brian Wilson, the head honcho. He's on lead vocals. Harmonies and backing vocals, keyboard, and bass. Then the other two lead vocalists, Mike Love and Carl Wilson. Uh, Mike Love does harmony, backing vocals, percussion, saxophone, and electro theremin. I think this is like an album-specific instrument. I don't think uh, electro theremin. And then Carl Wilson, you know, the same backing vocals, but then he does lead and rhythm guitars, bass, and keyboards. So, so these dudes are all talented. That's what I'm getting from this. These are all very talented, multi-instrumental to, to list, oh Jesus, multi-instrumentalists anyway, but then we also got the other Wilson uh, brother, cousin is a Dennis Wilson and he does backing vocals and the drums. I was waiting to see who the drummer was in this group, man. You know, the drums, big thing for me, man. We got Dennis Wilson, he gonna be hammering it out for us on this album, man. And then continuing, we got Al Jardine, rhythm guitar, bass, and also, he also does lead vocals. There's a lot of lead vocalists. This is, this is a lot, y'all. That's why I just want to get this out the way right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. And then last but certainly not least is Bruce Johnston. Bruce Johnston does harmony, backing vocals, lead vocals, apparently occasionally keyboards and bass. All right. So that was um, just a little rundown. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not going to remember 80 percent of that. But as we do more Beach Boys uh, albums, videos, you know, I'll start to get more accustomed and maybe throughout this album, too. There are a lot. Of, I don't know who's going to be singing what I, I'm not. Listen. All I know is that from the research I've done, Brian Wilson is the head honcho. Brian Wilson and Mike Love, right? So that, that's who I think is going to be doing the majority of the vocals. But if it, it, I'll pick it up as I can. Right? Y'all know me, man. I'm a little deaf. Life of Darius. Enough conjecture. Let's get to the album, man. Jesus Christ. I'm a little rusty, y'all. Y'all know. <laughs> right? We're here today. We got the Beach Boys. Pet Sounds. All right. Track numero uno. 500 million plays jesus christ track number one wouldn't it be nice let's get it man let's get it man let's get it man let's get beachy let's get let's get our surfer shorts and all that on man let's get the mop tops together and yeah is that offensive no let's get let's go okay, hold, on. hold on turn y'all up turn the beach boys up It would. No, it's gonna make it that much better. Yeah. And we can say goodnight and stay together. Okay. Whoever that is, I'm just gonna swim this Brian Wilson. Oh! Hello! Hello! Oh my god. Yep. Okay. This sounds exactly like I expected the Beach Boys to sound, and also nothing like I expect them to sound. Huh? Hey, hold on, they bring the, the, the chimes in. 
Alright, alright. Alright, this kind of banger. This? Yo. Facts? Man, what? Hey. Okay. For sure. Okay. For sure. Okay. That was track one. Wouldn't it be nice? And I'm not gonna lie, Beach Boys, that. That was kind of nice. That was kind of nice. I got to give it to him, man. Give credit where it's due. Okay? All right, so that was track number one, Wouldn't It Be Nice, man. I think that was a that was a dope way to start the album, man. That sounded... It was weird to me, man, because that sounded exactly how I would expect the Beach Boys to sound, but almost nothing like I expect the Beach Boys to sound. It was a lot more crispier, but more importantly, it was, that was, it was really just grand. Like, really grand. Right, and normally y'all know I don't really like the sunshiny, like happy go lucky type of music, but I do like what, like vocally, the way they were kind of like, <laughs> like it was like his vocals were carrying along with the instrumental, like that little bop. It's hard to resist that, so I, I like that part about the song. Then let me talk about those backing vocals, y'all. I, I, I kind of see now why they say every member, for some reason, does backing vocals and harmonies because. I, I I lost track, bro. Like it was, there was so much going on in this song. It was the harmonies, it was the the instruments, like the the bass is just like just the string. It was just like yes, yes, right there. Good good intro. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hype it up too much, man. Like, but but, but great intro right there for the Beach Boys, man. I don't know who sung it, and I'm not gonna keep trying to guess, but I'm gonna assume that was Mr. Brian Wilson. I don't know, but yeah. Like the instrumental on there, I almost feel like that's not a like I, you can't pick up everything on a song like that in one listen. I, I listen, I expected like like old sounding guitars and like nasty bass and things like that. I didn't expect the, the opera like cla like classical vibes and things like that on here with the the, the violin. I don't. It was just a lot going on here, man. I appreciate it though. We on the track number two though. You still believe in me? Okay, these dramatic ass titles, Beach Boys. Let's get to it. Oh my goodness. Harmonies already. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I've been very You've been patient with me. You bring back your to me. So this is really Christmassy. I try hard to be strong. I feel yes, sir. Talk to me. Okay. Okay. Uh, don't tell me y'all beetling me. The Beach Boys be beetling too. T <laughs> oh yeah. Hey man, I love this fucking channel. Can I just say that right now, man? I, this is this is the easiest shit I've had to do in my life. The most fun, like, bro, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. Slow down. Slow down, Beach Boys. But just, I'm sorry, man. That was crazy. All right, man. So that was track number two, You Still Believe in Me. And th that was quite the turn. 
Okay, um, lyrically it was still very in vain, like still relationshipy, but the sound, I didn't think it was gonna take such a, a, a strong dip like that, man. There's a lot of whiplash right there, but I, I kind of appreciated it, right? All right, now I'm gonna just say lyrically, this song is almost a little too on the nose with the situation I got going on right now, man. It's kind of like, I ain't expect this type of energy from the Beach Boys, man. They're, dig they're, they're, dig they're, they're digging deep. Right, this is how they're going to be talking on the whole album. Of these, the sounds, the moments they're going to be producing, I'm locked in. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm pet sounding now. Right, we here. Like, the song, it almost like, it's like encapsulates like a sad winter night. Like, you know, one of them really cold winter nights where you're going through something, you reminiscing in your, in your crib, cold and alone. This is what this song feels like. Like, the instrumental, like the twinkles, the bells and whistles, you would think it would be like, for me, I would think it'd be like a little more of a cornier type of like happy-go-lucky song. But then I hear how what he's saying. I hear like the the vocals, like the haunting, just vocal, like the way that they're dragging. Like this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm not gonna geek out too much, man. We gotta get through the album, man. But we're two for two right now. Solid two for two, man. I I I, I gotta see what they do after this, one, man. I gotta see. Like I don't I don't know where we go from here. <laughs> but let's get on to it. We're on the track number three. God damn, we're on the track number three. That's not me. Let's get to it, y'all. I had to prove that I could make it alone now, but that's not me. Yeah. Hey, the bass on this album is crazy. How independent I grown now. I could try to be big in the eyes of the world. Do just one girl. Hey. Hey. I'm a little bit Yo. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't normally pause during the songs, but it's like this out okay. Listen, listen. It's hard for me to describe like what like like what they're doing instrumentally on this album, but it's like so like the way that those drums just sounded, like the drums like faded to the back with the vocals, like it just sounds it's almost sounded kind of primitive for a second. Maybe I'm tripping, man, but it's like I, it's a lot going on here and I like it. That's that's what I'm saying right now. I like it. it, it let's let's keep it going. You need it, my love. Okay, vocals. I pee. My folks when I wrote told them what I was up to said that's not me. Look at myself and said that's not me. Wow. Talk to me. Oh, oh my God, man, who's on the drums? Hold on, I gotta re do a refresher. I need to get drunk. Man, listen. It's the bet the way that mm. boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> wow okay instrumentally bro like can i just say it right now i'm more impressed with the the, the the production and the vocals they're both equally amazing trust me but like what is going on I right, said so that was track number three. That's not me. And that was another great song right there. Probably definitely my least favorite so far, but not in a bad way. I still think that was a pretty good song. It was just, I don't know. Well, I did enjoy the song. I enjoyed the lyrics. I definitely enjoyed the production. Something about the structure and just kind of how the vocals drag it. The, 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 I don't know what, it's something weird about the vocals on here, man. I can't put my fingers on it, but they like really like drag sometimes. And, it's, and it works like when you get to those build up moments, but it's like you can find yourself getting lost in it so easily. This is like, you can just, you can just get lost in so many aspects that it's just hard, it's just hard man. This is hard. This is, I can already tell it's not a one listen album, but we here, we locked in. Good song right there. We three for three, but. We gotta keep it going after now. Come on, come on, come on, Beach, Beach Boys, the Wilsons, the Jardines, Mr. Love. Let's get to it. Nah, let's go. Track number uh, four Don't Talk, Put Your Head on My Shoulder. Let's get to it, y'all. I can hear so much in your sound. 
listening. I'm tapped in. Ooh. Hello. It's getting spooky. Why is it getting spooky? Yo, this is like hypnotizing almost. I feel like I'm being put under hypnosis right now. Okay. 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 So. All right. So that was track number four. Don't talk. Put your head on my shoulders. And that was another good song. But that I think that song kind of just unlocked to me what, what, what was like maybe weird to me about the vocals. But now I kind of get it. And that's just like the, everything about this album so far has been like really hypnotic. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like it almost felt like towards the end of that song, I was going into a trance because the vocals were so like, like warm and soothing. And then the instrumental was like, it was very light. This is probably the lightest instrumental so far, but it was still like, everything was perfect. Like everything in the background, just it just complimented like the, the hypnotic cadence of um, Wilson Love, Wilson Jardine, whoever vocals. Um, it just complimented it perfectly, right? Now I like the first couple songs. This probably isn't a song I would catch myself bumping on like a day-to-day -day basis, but that's just our first lesson, right? This is probably my least favorite, but it was also the most important because I, I I see where they're taking me with this one, man. This is very this is very psychedelic, kind of psychedelic in a way, hypnotic. And I think I think y'all said that like this kind of inspired the psychedelic qualities of other albums, and I can see why. But they it's still very Beach Boy. Right, I think that's why it took me so long to kind of catch that and remember this, the, how psychedelic this album is supposed to be because it still sounds like like it has the sounds I would expect from Beach Boys album. The vocals actually are exactly how I sound to expect them to sound like, but it's kind of it's just working. It's coming together right now. We're gonna keep it pushing though. We're on the track number five in uh, Spotify. Stop doing that, Spotify. Track number five. I'm waiting for the day. Let's get to it, y'all. Hey, hey. This album is really melancholy. Jeez. Hello. Okay, okay, they got me this time. Yeah? Think about him. Talk to her. Alright. I can't be mad at that one. Is that a flute? What is that? Ah, okay. Ah, okay, I'm locked. Done. I like how he talking on this one. Slow it down. Oh my God, those strings. <laughs> yeah. Man, talk your shit, man. 
I like the energy of this song. Okay. All right, we back. We back on track with that one. We right back on track with that one, man. That was a beautiful track right there. I don't know what track number we on. I'm Whole new picture. I guess. I guess there's no lyrics for this one, y'all. Um, no lyrics for this particular song. Uh, you caught us. <laughs> we, we okay. <laughs> we caught them, but anyway. All right. So that was track what, number five, number six. One of the tracks. That was track number five. I'm waiting for the day, and that was a beautiful, beautiful pick me up after the the melancholiness of the last couple of songs, man. And it's funny because I don't even the instrumental. They they reeled me in on this one, man. I think y'all can see they kind of reeled me in on this one. Because it started off kind of slow, and I'm like, oh, what they, uh, what they finna do? Is it finna just bang? What they finna, they finna, what they finna throw on my head, man? And then it came in, and it was like, doom, 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 doom. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, at first I was a little put off. I was a little put off, right? This is just not how I'm used to rock and roll. The drops don't normally sound like, you know, Santa Claus is coming, right? But, but, because now we gotta flip it on this one, because unlike a lot of the other songs where it's the production and then the vocals is kind of just like to the wayside for me, on this one, man, the vocals, that's what, like, the energy, just like the way that the lyrics, like, I think this is about stealing somebody's girl, um, unfortunately. I don't know why I like this song so much. I don't partake in them activities, but I do just, I, I, like, I like how they put this together, man. These, these dudes are some really good writers. Right, I don't know who specifically writes what on here. I do. I gotta. I gotta get my Beach Boys lore after this one, right? Because this, I've never heard music that sounds like this, right? I don't know. <laughs> like it's good, but I've just never heard anything that sounds like this. Like I, I can trace some of the Beatles songs to newer songs I've heard. I can trace a lot of Led Zeppelin songs to newer songs I've heard. This feels like I'm in like a whole different universe, and I love it. Like I love it. I love just how everything builds. Like how melancholy, but bright and happy. like it's just this is weird. Right, I'm gonna get my more of my synopsis as we my synopsis my synopsis as we get deeper into this one. But so far, man, bang up job, bang up job. Ooh, I'm gonna say we are a. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we're four for five right now, man. Head on my shoulder. I could live without that one. I could live without that one, man. We gonna keep it going though. Track number six, no lyrics. Let's go away for a while. Man, if you would have told me seven months ago that I would enjoy an instrumental, I just sat here and enjoyed an instrumental. I've never enjoyed, I, even the Led Zeppelin instrumentals, I was kind of like, uh, this one? This is beautiful. That was beautiful right there, man. Like, like oh. Okay, that was track number six. Let's go away for a while. And that was an instrumental right there. But I will say this, and I got to get a Beach Boy so much credit. Because I think this is the first instrumental, like instrumental only track on my channel that I I, I love I, I love this song. Like like this, it felt like it felt kind of like 
I don't know. I don't know how to describe it because there was so much going on. Like I said, in certain parts, it sounds like jazz. In certain parts, it can kind of sound like a 60s horror film. And in other parts, it sounds just like the Beach Boys. It's like they just merge all this together so beautifully, instrumentally. And I'm glad I listened to this album for one thing and very one very important thing. If y'all watch Life of Darius, y'all know sometimes I give a little too much credit to the vocals, the vocalists, things like that, and over like the backing track. Right, but one thing that this album has shown me more than any Led Zeppelin album I listen to, more than any Beatles album I listen to, like I gotta be honest, even more than them albums, is it's making me just appreciate all the little things. Like all the little things that can make a song great that's not just somebody like speaking. Like, like I always wonder how people could just sit and just listen to like jazz instrumentals all day or like just, you know, classical instrumentals, things like that. And it's because you get feelings like this. Like I felt this song made me feel relaxed. Like it made me feel at home because like the jazz song, the jazz sounds like I've heard sounds like that um, all the time growing up. And it's just, yes, man, bang up on the instrument. That great instrumental. Like I told y'all, the first instrumental I liked, the Beach Boys, I didn't think they would be the ones to do it, but instrumentally, I think these dudes are way more talented than vocally. Like the, the harmonies they got on point, obviously, but the, the being on point with the harmonies and the production and then being able to write like they do, like, okay. Okay, okay, we this, this, this ain't the Beach Boys I was thinking of, right? It, it, at least not at this point in 1966, which, yes. All right, but that's enough geeking out for that song. We are on to track number seven. This this is hard. We got Sloop John B. All right, I, I, like, it. I like the song already just because of the title, Sloop John B. <laughs> Let's get to it. We come on the Sloop John B. Talk to me. Oh. Okay. Got into a fight. It'd it be like that. So hoist up the John B. Sail. Yeah. See how the main sail sets. Oh. Call for the captain ashore. <laughs> Let me go home. I love it when they, I love when they do multiple Let vocals at once. Home. That's when they're at their best. Talk to me. The constable had to come and take him away. Oh, he was tripping. He was tripping. Okay. Breakdown? Break down? Okay. Oh, oh hell no. And you just let it happen? Oh, no, Beach Boys. It's the tuba? This sounded like a very shitty trip. I wouldn't want to go on this trip. Okay, Mr. Sloop John B, man. Okay, some storytelling. Some storytelling for the Beach Boys. You know, I love me a good storyteller song, man. Just about a, see, about a trip. They just wanted to go home, right? They was on a bad trip. I feel like this might be some type of a true story. Like, I feel like this, this song has to be inspired by something. Like, something that happened to these boys. I'm sure they had been famous for a while. Before this is 1966, right? I'm sure the, Be the Beach Boys been around for a pretty long time, right? So yeah, so <laughs> good song right there. Yeah, that was track number seven, Sloop John B. And I will say, out of all the songs I've heard so far, this was the one that most remind like like this sounds kind of like how I would expect the Beach Boys to sound. Obviously, just, just much more grander than I feel like I've heard from the Beach Boys. <laughs> like, but just like this is definitely more in that vein. But I liked it. Right, like I, I liked it, and I said I hate like regular Beach Boys, but if this is what, listen, man, listen, man, I, I, I might have woke up on this album. That's what I'm gonna say. I've been very asleep on the Beach Boys. Sent a lot of shade at the Beach Boys throughout my previous, uh, like <laughs> my previous catalog, man. But they waking me up on this one, man. That's what I say. They when 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 an album got me just sitting here rambling, just just 
thoughts spilling and yapping and all that, that's how you know it's a good album, man. That's how you know it's a great album. I'm enjoying it so far. We are a strong six for seven, and I might just say seven for seven. I might just get that that one iffy song. I just might give it to him. <laughs> I just might give it to him, but nah. Nah, none of that. We are on to chill. We're on to track number eight. God only knows. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's finna get I feel like it's finna get real in here. Let's get to it. <laughs> Oh my, you hear that, that back, oh my, I don't even know, I got it. Shit. God only knows what I'd be without you. That, that turned dark. You can't do that after talking about suicide, bro. You're dying. Ugh. Okay. The ba 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 was crazy. That's kind of crazy. So that was track number eight, God Only Knows, and wow, wow is the first thing I'll say about that. That might be, I don't know if I say it's the best song on here. I really enjoyed um, Wouldn't It Be Nice, and You Still Believe In Me. Those were two great, two great, great way to start the album, but this is definitely competing with those two, man. Just, this is like, it's like perfection, right? Like everything about this song was just so clean and so pure from from the main vocals to like the background vocals the and then the way all that just kind of builds up into this grand outro where they just repeat the god only knows what i'll be without you and it just makes you sit there and think and feel it it's just hypnotizing if there's one thing i say about this album it is hypnotizing because i told you it just feels like i'm in an entirely just different universe right now I'm telling you, bro. I've never heard any music that just sounds like this. Like I don't, I can't, I can't find, I can't pinpoint nothing about this. And that's the good thing about this album, man. Like I said, it's opening my mind up, man. That's why we're here on the channel, explore new things, listen to new things, man. And yeah, great song right there, man. Top top three, I mean, it might be three, but I don't know, man. This is my first listen. We're on a track number nine, though. We've got uh, once they show me, I know there's an answer. Let's get to it, y'all. Oh shit, what? Look like they sending shots at me from Lyric 1. It's a little too meta already. I know so many people who think they can do it alone. Yeah. They isolate their heads and stay in their safety zone. Guilty. Ain't talking about me now. They trip through the day and waste all their thoughts at night. Oh yeah, he's talking about me. My my, my mad. Back to me. I know there's an answer. Uh, I know now, but I have to find it by myself. Wow. 
They showing their ass, man. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on, man. Okay. 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 <laughs> I gotta clap it up for that one, man. Jesus Christ, man. Track number nine, whatever that was. That's in the man, what? That's my favorite one so far. That's my favorite song so far, y'all. Okay, so that was track number nine. I know there's an answer, man. And I'm telling you, bro. The beauty of music and the thing I'm starting to come to find out about just all types of music, what it can do for you, just especially when you're going through certain type of times, right? And if y'all seen my previous uh, video, y'all would know I haven't had the best couple months, right? I haven't had the best last couple weeks either, but like, man, music and music like this, this is therapy. This is therapy, like sonic therapy, just... Because you sit back and you listen to the lyrics and you can relate to the lyrics, but then it's also just the quality of the instrumental. So you sit back, listen to the lyrics, and you can't help but be happy because of how great the instrumental is on here. It like causes you to like the way it builds up, the way they that's how I describe it. The way they do like, like kind of their build ups on here is it like it causes you to like go into this mode of sadness. And then they'll just like turn it up and then like it's just like more so reflection at that point. There's a lot of sadness and then just reflection on here. Like I don't, it just instrumentally, I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, man, I really love that song. And I like, I love, this is my favorite hook on here. Like it's such a simple hook, but sometimes simple is just better for me, right? I know there's an answer. Like, like that is like the way and then just <laughs> everything works on here. Right, this is a lot like a Led Zeppelin album, I say, because where it just feels like everything just, just comes together perfectly, just on every song. Like, this feels like, it's, this is a lot like Led Zeppelin 4 was for me, not sonically wise, but just how everything is just coming together perfectly. Like, it's like, I'm sitting here, and it's, obviously, man, this album is highly regarded, right? But I, I listen, this is not my style of music. I, now, I've never heard any music like this. But man, I, I see, I see now. I see where it is, where it is. We still got four tracks to go. They can mess it up. Right, they could they, they could fuck it up and drop some some BS for the last four tracks. You never know, right? You never know, man. <laughs> but bang up job so far. We are eight for nine, and yeah, yeah. On the track number ten, though, I think we got here today. Here today, track number ten. Here today, let's get to it. It starts with just a little glance now. Come on, man. Y'all hear that, man. Man, what? Yep. Yep. Definitely. Right. Right. Okay. Yep. Yep. What? What? Oh, so he know too. Okay. Yep. Mm. Yeah, bounce. Hello. Hey. It's hard to be sad when the instrumental's so hard, but I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> you feel me? This is uplifting. 
Thank you. Thank you, Beach Boys. I needed this one. Needed this one. It's the harmonies. It's the harmonies. Sorry, I'm sorry. That, 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 that was I shouldn't have did that. Great song right there. We keeping the momentum going for sure with that one, man. I, it, it sounds kind of perfect, y'all. Like I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to go back and listen to that song that I thought wasn't that good. Now, like I kind of want to feel like and revisit that one, man, because everything since then it feels like we've been just kind of going up and up right here, man. This is uh, another song right here that's definitely in the vein of the Beach Boys. I think of normally, but Listen, man, my Beach Boy, anti-Beach Boy bias is gone after this one, man. I want to hear whatever they done cooked up, whenever, whenever. I don't care if they, they surfing or not. I don't care if they got mop tops, jeans, shorts, whatever, man. This, if they making music like this, I'm a Beach Boy. I'm a Beach Boy. You feel me? But yeah, that was track number 10 here today, and I just gave my whole track review before I did the little transition thing I normally do. So, um, yeah, great song. Great song. Lovely song. I don't know if I go top five, man. It's probably more in the vein of like Sloop John, or it's a really good song, but you know, it's regular degla to me, man. But anyway, on to track number 11. It's just titled Long as Hell, y'all. Hold on. Um, Jesus, Jesus. I just wasn't made for these times. Boy, what? <laughs> but who you telling, Beach Boys, man? <laughs> Let's, all right, track number 11. <laughs> Let's go. Felt that. I keep looking for a place to fit in where I can speak my mind. Uh. And to find the people that I won't leave behind. Mm. They say I got brains, but they ain't doing me no good. Mm. At all. Not one bit. No one wants to help me look for places where new things might be found. Where can I turn when my fair weather friends come out? Sometimes I feel very sad. Sometimes I feel It's a hell of a song right there, yo. It's a hell of a song, hell of an album. I might say that. Hell of a song, hell of an album, hell of a message they said it. Normally I don't mean, smoke in my videos, man, but I had to take a little a little breathe after that one, man. Come on. <laughs> I just wasn't made for these times, man. Let me get back in review mode, man. But Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. All right, so that was track number 11. Track number 11, I just wasn't made for these times. And 
when I read that title, man, and I said I felt that I, I didn't think I was gonna feel the song like I actually felt the song, man. This is this this is one of those ones for me right here, man. Because it, here's the thing, and here's the reason why I think is this channel so beautiful and why I don't want to stop and I want to keep it going and I want to keep it going fast because I know it's so much great music that I have yet to hear. But the thing about songs like this, like what. When I listen to rap, when I listen to hip hop and a song speaks to me or I just really understand, like relate to every lyric, understand exactly where they're going to, it's expected for me, right? Like somebody like Kendrick Lamar rapping about something that's very similar to what I'm going through isn't a surprise to me, right? Our two African-Americans grew up in America, good kid, mad city, very similar stories. That's why I relate to a lot of what Kendrick Lamar raps about, right? But shit like this just like shows that the discourse that be going on in the world, like just the racial, the cultural discourse that's become so popular. It's always been popular, but social media just made it, you know, just right in our face all the time. But with that discourse, man, things like this just open you up to the fact that we are all just fucking human, bro. This song was written in 1966 by a white man who surfs from Hawthorne, California, bro. And And me. <laughs> a 24 year old 24 year old black man born in 1999 in southwest Ben Harbor, Michigan 98% black city right is sitting here just relating to everything that that man is saying bro and that just shows like all oh, this shit is just we all just like come on bro if this don't show you that what will bro like let, let me just go through the lyrics real quick and we gonna finish this album bro but mm, yes yes okay beach boys we 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 gonna we gonna visit the beach a couple more times on my channel for sure, for sure, man. We just think about it, man. I keep looking for a place to fit where I can speak my mind. I felt like that. I ain't gonna go into too much detail. Been trying hard to find people that I won't be leave behind. Jesus Christ. They say I got brains, but they ain't doing me no good. Ooh Lord. If they ain't the story of my life, they tell me I got brains, but they ain't doing me no good, boy. Cause I was the kid in school who, you know. The teachers would be like, hey, he's a really smart kid, but he's got to apply himself, right? I was that kid, but I wasn't that kid because the teacher was trying to be nice and wasn't trying to say I'm dumb. Like, no, that was really me. I was really smart. Just wasn't very motivated, man. So I just, I feel shit like that. Each time things start to happen again, I think I got something good going for myself. What goes wrong? Yep. Goes back to like a Mac Miller lyric where he says, I build it up. And just to break it down, man, I've, I've definitely been in a couple situations like that, man, for sure. I guess I just wasn't made for these times. Every time I get the inspiration to change things around, no one wants to help me look for places where new things might be found. I ain't gonna dig deep into that one. Work out to our fair weather friends. Oh my gosh, it's like, <laughs> just a song. Oh my God, bro, yes. Beautiful song right there. My, probably my favorite song off the album. Definitely my favorite song off the album. It already took, um, I know there's an answer's place. <laughs> Pretty quickly, too, like two tracks later, man. But just amazing song. 10 out of 10 song. Great album so far. We got, what, two more tracks. Let's just end it on a good note, man. Track number 12, we got They're Not Telling Me. Pet, pet Sounds. Pet, okay. pet Sounds uh, with these strapping young men right here. Let's go. Seem like an instrumental, there are no lyrics. Something to just vibe. Nah, nah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Talk to me. I'm here, I'm vibing. I'm locked. I felt it coming. 
Okay. Okay. Nice little uh, vibe session for the penultimate track. Is that what they call it? The penultimate track on here, man. Um, and I, once again, actually a really good instrumental. I don't know if it's better than the, the, the first one we heard. I actually think that one was slapping a little bit more, but this one was great also. Right. I will say the Beach Boys, we're going to talk about if they got the best album I heard at the end, but they definitely got the two best instrumentals I heard on this channel, man. So I'll get that to it for sure, man. <laughs> definitely. But yeah, track number 12, Pet Sounds, kind of much, a lot of the same, kind of everything they've been doing on this album, kind of encapsulated into one song, like some horn sections, so the guitar, a little drum in there every now and then, the the little beachy, dong, dong, dong. Oh, I think that was the guitar, actually, sorry. But yeah, that was a nice little palate cleanser after the uh, emotional train wreck that <laughs> I'm not made for these times was, but yo, you know what I say, y'all know what time it is, y'all know. It's time to take us home, man. Beach Boys. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 Y'all been gracious hosts for this, uh, however long this video gonna be. You know what I'm saying? This hour, however long we're gonna be here. Y'all been gracious hosts. Uh, great music, great vibes, great melodies. Amazing production. Top tier production. All time great production. Um, and just, just take us home. All right, just take us home. Finish this off on a good note. I ain't, I, I ain't got nothing bad to say about this one so far, man. We are 11 for 12. Track number 13, Caroline. No. No. Let's go. Uh oh. No. Tambourines, the bongos. Probably you, brother. It's probably you. What just happened? Why, does, why the Beach Boys playing with me like that? Man, don't put the. Ch All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. They, they do it. Okay. See, Beach Boys know how my channel work, man. They knew I needed that little laugh at the end right there, man. Shout out to Beach Boys. Because <laughs> this song is not fair. Okay. They, they, they shouldn't be writing lyrics like this, especially after. Come on, man. Y'all know what I'm going through, man. But nah, let me stop. Track number 13. They took us home. And I think the best way to beat the Beach Boys could do it, man. An amazing song. Not a song. I, I don't know. How, this, this song it, this, this song feel too meta. Feel a little too real for me, y'all. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, track number 12. And, like, <laughs> let's just read the lyrics, man. I ain't going to say much, y'all. So I'm going to just read the lyrics. And then we're going to conclude the album, man. Where did your long hair go? Where is the girl I used to know? How could you lose that happy glow? Who took that look away? I remember how you used to say you never changed, but that's not true. Break my heart, I wanna go cry. It's sad to watch a sweet thing die. Could I ever find you again? Things that made me love you so much. Could we ever bring them back once they have a gone? Sheesh, 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 sheesh. Probably not. Probably not, Brother Mike Wilson, Brian Wilson, Jardine, whatever your name might be. Probably not. 
probably not. It's unfortunate, man. But I ain't gonna say too much else, man. Just that was a little too real. <laughs> A little too real, man. I told myself I ain't gonna cry on YouTube, y'all. I made a very big pack not to do that, but it might have been two songs on here. They almost got me, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Two of them, they almost got me. Two or three. Two or three. <laughs> but all right, man. That was Pet Sounds. Well, let me give them the respect they deserve. That was Pet Sounds in bright, bold letters by the Beach Boys, man. And uh, let me just say, I. I don't think y'all need me to tell you this, man, because y'all heard this before, but this is a 10 out of 10, obviously. This is, this is an amazing album from start to finish. Like, I'm telling you, this is like, this, I don't know if this is this, like, are there other artists, let me slow down, are there other artists that make music like this? Because I feel like this is like, it's, I'm telling you, this felt like I was in just like the Beach Boys world, right? Like, I was just like floating along in whatever hypnotic, psychotic, Christmas horror trumpet field mess that they was just trying to put me through right there yo but yeah 10 out of 10 album let me just go off my favorite tracks off of first listen real quick it would definitely but wouldn't it be nice banger you still believe in me that's not me um let's go away for a while sloop john b god only knows i know there's an answer here today i just wasn't made for these times and caroline no right those are the ones that's like sticking out of my hair just looking just skimming through the track list one more time man and that's Listen, even the songs that I don't like, they're more so me not liking them because of just my preference in music and, you know, the Beach Boys aren't, you know, they, I don't think they would normally be exactly my, my cup of tea of music. Like, I wouldn't run to listen to the Beach Boys if I wasn't doing this video, but, like I said, even the songs that I didn't like, I can acknowledge, or I didn't, not, there's not a song here I didn't like, but the songs that I didn't like, or go as crazy for, I can appreciate them. I can appreciate just the perfection. This album, I'm not going to lie. Listen, I said Rubber Soul was probably, Rubber Soul and Abbey Road was like the closest things to perfection I ever heard, right? I said that, and, and Led Zeppelin 4. For me, those three are the top three on my channel. It's just like, and Revolver. Revolver might be creeping up there a little bit. I gotta give Revolver a little bit more love, for sure. Revolver. But I think that fifth spot, and I don't think it's number five. It's gotta be Pet Sounds, right? Pet Sounds is up there, y'all. Pet Sounds is up there, man. This album is just so warm. It's warm, yet it's melancholy. Right, it's kind of depressing, but it's also really hopeful. It's like a hopeful melancholy. It's just weird how they did this. I want. I gotta. I gotta watch a video about this album, the creation of this album, the, how they built this up, and what they was on, what they were going through, what they were thinking about, because that would make all this make so much more sense to me. But just right now, off a of first listen, I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving the instrumentals. I'm loving the the vocals. I had to, it took me a couple of tracks to get used to the vocals. Like I, I was hating on the vocals a little bit early on, but. I, they, they caught me they caught me especially when they start double tracking the vocals too like when two or three members start singing at once on the main like on the main on lead vocals oh yeah 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 beautiful 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 beach boys beautiful beach boys pause the, not pause next scene yeah man i don't lo listen man listen man this might be it wouldn't be crazy for me to say this is the best album i've heard on my channel i don't know if it's my favorite but literally, literally, I, maybe it's some out, but there was nothing, there's no down, there's not one down, like not, there's not a second where there's, they're like doing something that's like bad or weird or just off-putting or so just like every, it's the most consistent 37 minutes and 21 seconds of music I've ever heard in my life. I see why this album kind of put, put the Beach Boys in a different conversation, right? Because you have to be put in a different conversation after you create something like this. All right, this takes hard work, this takes dedication, precision, talent, and I appreciate all that from the Beach Boys. I appreciate all that. We're definitely going to take a trip to the beach a couple more times on my channel, man. But we got to add a couple more new bands to the rotation, get it rolling. I'm not going to spoil who it is yet, but come on, man, y'all know. Y'all should know. If I just did the Beach Boys, think about everybody else I did. It's like 160 is one missing, man. We're going to get to them soon, though, on photo. Oh, and to the Led Zeppelin fans, y'all don't got to start a riot. Y'all don't got to, you know what I'm saying? But pull up on me in the DMs, man. Talk crazy to me. LZ5 is coming. You know what I'm saying? 5 is on the way. Houses of the Holy is on the way, man. That's probably going to be my very next uh, music reaction. I think I might do like a, kind of like a Led Zeppelin, just regular reaction video too. Like um, I haven't done one of those for Led Zeppelin, like where I just watch a video just talking about those guys. But yeah, anyway, man, I just want to get contents on the way. Yeah, uh, gang. <laughs> But with that being said, I'm going to bid y'all a dude. It's your boy Life of Darius, a.k.a. Sloop John D. And I'm out. Jesus Sandals, man.